Welcome back to Excel with Mark and today what we're going to be looking at is how we can separate this text and numbers so it can fill out the relevant data within these columns. You can see here within the employee IDs that we have a little bit of text at the beginning followed by some numbers for the employee number. So we have the department and the number. We need to separate this and one of the ways that we can do this is using something called flash fill. So one way that we can do this is clicking into the cell up at the top here and we can start out by typing the name or what we need to do with the department. Then move down to the next cell. Once we press in that first letter, then we can see where it goes all light grey and it fills in the rest of the text for us. So at this point now, we can press enter and that there will fill in all the extra data for us all the way down, making sure that all the letters are as they should do and using that flash fill option. We can do that for exactly the same when we're working on the number side of it. So we can type in the 175 for the first one. And then again, if we just type in the 7 for the next one, we can see that it automatically flash fills down there for us. Again, at this point, we can press enter and that should fill in all the data for us. So we're going to get rid of the data on this point now. And I just want to show you a different way of doing it. So when you get to this point, sometimes all the data doesn't show up or it doesn't show up in gray. One of the ways that you can get around this is if it doesn't start to show up for you. So if you press type in the fin and say it just doesn't show up for whatever reason, then when you move to the next one, if you were to press control and E at that point, it's just the shortcut for that flash fill and you can see that it's filled in all the relevant data that it needs to do there. Nice and easy for us. Do that just in case that I say it doesn't show up as an option for you. Again with the numbers, we can do this as well. So say we have kind of one or two of them, but say that just doesn't show up for us. Let's say it's just gone off there. Okay, again we can press the control and E and you can see that that will filter it all out for us there. So what you can do as well is if you click into the home tab and click fill, you can see that you have the flash fill option up here and you can see that it has the shortcut highlighted there for you from control and E. So if we use it on the numbers, for example, we have the 175 and then into the next one we have the 74, but we don't want to use the drop down that it gives us. We're going to highlight the column. We're going to click the home. We're going to go across to the fill and we're going to click onto the flash fill. And that's the option there. Just doing the same thing for you if you don't want to use the shortcut. And again, that'll just move all the numbers and text into the right places for you and where they need to be. Hopefully that helps. Thanks a lot for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon for when we upload more.